basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Allie LaForce. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And the starting group for the Celtics, Abdul-Jabbar. And at last, they get one to fall. Boy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's length really makes him a threat on the offensive glass. Outside Johnson. Down low. Here's Bird. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Robertson to the paint. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Nobody does it better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the paint. Magical. Length, size, touch. Unguardable inside. Here's Ainge. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Outside Johnson. Five on the clock. Pass to Parrish. The baseline, Jay. Here's McHale. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Boy, the challenge McHale proposes for defenses is all the moves he has. Slippery, and he just seems to make guys foul him. Kevin McHale taking two shots. First free throw is good. You talk about footwork in the post, I think McHale is without peer. And it takes a lot of practice to refine the footwork that he has. That's dedication to your craft on full, fruitful display. And good on the second, so he makes them both. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Here's Robertson. And down it goes. Two points. From anywhere in the lane, Robertson's strength and quickness usually means he's the last man standing. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Now here's Johnson. To the right side. Puts up a three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Pass to Robertson. Six to shoot. The shot comes out. Johnson with the defensive effort. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And it's Bird missing. Here's Robertson. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Robertson. Shoots over Johnson. And it's Bird with a rebound. Right side, Johnson. Rebound, Milwaukee. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. You know, the size of Abdul-Jabbar typically overwhelms defenses, especially when he's operating close to the rim, forcing them to act as he draws the foul. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. The seven foot two Abdul Jabbar is such a remarkable player, so talented, and you got to love that unblockable signature skyhook shot that he mastered from an early age.
Both good from the line that time. Boston trailing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Bird. Baseline jumper right on the money. Good for about one per game. Ainge finds his open man easily there. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson, with the fadeaway. Robertson's shot is off. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. To the middle. Here's Bird. And it's all tied up. Six points for him. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's McLaughlin. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Cans it from short range. Well, you know, if you're playing Robertson to score, not a bad idea, but that means you're going to leave other guys open, and he'll find them. Here's Ainge. Outside Johnson. Pass to Bird. Just five to shoot. Here's Ainge. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Here's McLaughlin. The floater. It's rebounded by McHale. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Pass to Robertson. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Here's Bird. Six points for him. And the officials call a traveling violation. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Robertson. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Puts it up from 15. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Such a gifted score. Perhaps the greatest score of all time. Abdul-Jabbar showing you he's got some touch from the mid-range, too. And the Celtics call time here. Now here's Johnson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Bird. Inside, here's Parrish. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Contact does not phase Slim. He makes it happen regardless. Now Smith. Here's Robertson. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. The hook shot, and it's Milwaukee scoring again. Nice hook shot there. That's a go-to move for him. Outside Johnson. Pass to Bird. Clock at six. Here's Parrish to the inside. Here's McHale. It's tipped. They retain possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here's Robertson. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Robertson. Covered by Johnson. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. He gets it in there. And it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead. I don't think it was bad defense at all, but that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You're not stopping him inside. 
Here's Parrish. Goes back up. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, the big guys in the post are outworking their opponent in effort and physicality. They just simply want it more. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Here's Robertson. Pass to Allen. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Getting to the line a lot. Kareem adept at forcing and drawing fouls. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. The Celtics making a switch here. And the second free throw is good. Boston trailing. Here's Seasting. Right wing. Five to shoot. Pass to Wedman. Takes the three. Drops in the three. You know, Seasteen's job is to get the ball to open teammates. Great dime right there. Here's Robertson. Back to Allen. Puts it up from 12. Boston with a rebound. Here's Wedman. And that one's good. Parrish. And now just a one-point Milwaukee lead. Tell you what, with his size and soft touch, Parrish is a very reliable option on the inside. Pass to Robertson. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. And when Kareem's got it going like this, just let him go to work. Feed the beast and let him eat. Milwaukee Hall. Lucius Allen. First personal foul. Third team foul. Out to the right wing. Here's Bird. He's got six. The 11-footer. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Now Allen. Pass to Robertson. Parrish with a rebound. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Here's Bird. Down to five on the shot clock. Basket counts. Give him eight points now. Here's Allen. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Cunningham up top. Allen with it. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Here's the hook. Gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. How about that? Pulling out the hook shot. Nobody there to defend it either. Here's Seasting. One fifty-six left in the first quarter of the game. 
Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. The rebound by Robertson. Milwaukee in the lead. Now here's Cunningham. He's guarded closely. Pass to Robertson. Second chance shot. And he can't get that one. And Boston going the other way now. He takes it in. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for the Celtics. Stop Redman. At the line for two. Off. The Celtics making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. Good on the second one. 1.14 left in the opening quarter. And here's Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shots that's available. Here's Parrish. Seven points in the game. And he sinks the 11-footer. Nine points in the game. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Dandridge. Inside. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Parrish with a rebound. So it's Boston now. Trailing by two. On the take. Here's Seasting. I got yours! I got yours! Just five to shoot. Here's Vincent. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Pass to Allen. Here's Robertson. Count it. Good. 25 points in the game. Major dominance in it. Come so easily for him. Fantastic. Getting to his spot on the floor. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The Bucks on top, up four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, you're If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Boston trailing. On the court right now for the Celtics. Here's Ainge. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Six to shoot. Pass to Parrish. Got a hand on it. Got to be aware of where Kareem is now. He's an intimidating, effective presence protecting the rim. Allen with it. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Good. And the Bucks lead by six. This first half has been all him. He's getting to his spots and going to work. Here's Ainge. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Lays it up and banks it in. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Allen attacking. Pass to Dandridge. 
Here's Abdul Jabbar. Second shot opportunity, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, you can't go for the fake. Once Kareem has you fooled, he's going right into the contact to draw the foul. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Here's Ainge. Looking for his first basket still in this one. To the left wing. Johnson inside. He's against Allen. They grab their own miss. Good on the shot. Ferris cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Johnson against Allen. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second team foul. At the line for the box. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he drops it first. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Johnson. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. The three. And the Celtics another three. At the arc, Bird can be just devastating, especially when he gets into a nice rhythm. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Using his post moves to get the two points. 33 points for him. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Bird. Soft touch off the glass. 13 points in the game. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves. Can take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend, and believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that game. Abdul Jabbar's shot is good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Defense, the Bucks leading by five. Pass to Bird. They set the pick. First personal foul. First 
Here's Johnson. Here's McHale. And that one's good. As we like to say, a guy like McHale is a problem. He's such an excellent scorer in the low post. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Bird. And the layup falls. And now just a one point Milwaukee lead. Hey, a little contact never throws Bird off his stride. He shoots very well when contested. He can make tough shots. Here's Dandridge. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Abdul Jabbar misses. Austin on offense. To the paint. Here's Bird. Can't get the go ahead bucket. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Good on both. Boston trailing. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Bird. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Now Allen. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Down low. Abdul Jabbar's shot is good. And the Bucks lead by three. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Out to the right wing. Pass to McHale. Deflected. Fades and shoots. Milwaukee with the rebound. Allen with it. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Crafty move. And he lays it up and in. And now it's a five point Milwaukee lead. And you know, that's a nice pass. You're right. I mean, that's the mentality of Allen. He won two college championships, both on very unselfish teams. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Here's Johnson. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Bird. Here's McHale, covered by Smith. Just five on the clock. 
from deep. Johnson, the offensive rebound. Tries yet again. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. And the Bucks making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. In so many ways, Robert Paris is a big man's big guy. Dominant down in the paint, focuses on high percentage shots, runs the floor well, and does a good job rim protecting. This guy rebounds too. And it's Cunningham missing. And here's Johnson. Pass to McHale. To the inside. It's tipped. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Boy, they're leaning on Paris tonight. And with good reason. Why not? This guy is built to score. One shot. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. Here's Robertson. Cunningham, left side. Out to the wing. Pass to McLaughlin. Clock at six. Here's Robertson. Fades away. Rebounded by Johnson. Here's Bird. Nice shot from the wing. He's got 19. Boy, the jump shot of Bird is so pure. He's got his mechanics down textbook style. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson. They get it back. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. To the middle. Here's Bird. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Boy, Bird has really been in the zone throughout this game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Here's McLaughlin looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Dandridge. Here's Robertson covered by Johnson. Four on the clock. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Here's Ainge. Over to the wing. Here's Bird. And Smith over to help. Here's McHale. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. At the line for the Celtics, Kevin McHale. At the line for one. Robertson. Shoots a fadeaway. That one drops for him. He has six. 
great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Pass to McHale. Back to Johnson. To the paint. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. And the free throw, no good. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Six-point game. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson. Robertson's shot is off. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Pass to McHale. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. And the Celtics lead by eight. Perfect dime drop that time. Nice execution of the bounce pass. Here's Dandridge. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson. Here's Robertson. Six points for him. Over Johnson. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 17-6 run. To the right side. Pass to Wedman. Here's Bird. From seven feet. It's rebounded by Dandridge. Here's Robertson. Covered by Johnson. Shoots over Johnson. No good off the glass. The Celtics with the lead. There's a minute 17 left in the first half of this one. No good there. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Here's Robertson. Give him eight. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. The Celtics making a switch here. Dennis Johnson. That's his first personal foul. Fourteen foul. Find the lane. Find the lane. That's a line for the ball shot. Oscar Robertson. One of the all-time greats and most versatile scores ever, Oscar Robertson, showing you how easy it is for him to get to the line. Here's Seasting. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 46 seconds left in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Vincent. Here's Walton. Here's McHale. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Here's Robertson. 11 points in the game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Third person foul. 15 foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Greg Smith. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Here's Seasting. 
Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. And Robertson gets it to go. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtics up three. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And Boston has possession. Three-point lead. Pass to Parrish. Here's Bird. It's intercepted! And for the Celtics. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson. And Robertson gets it to go. 16 points for him. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Here's McHale. Pass to Ainge. Inside. Johnson. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And the Celtics lead by three. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Here's McLaughlin. About a minute played here in the second half. With the hook shot. And out of bounds. The Celtics will take it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Parrish. Abdul-Jabbar with a rebound. Here's Robertson, covered by Johnson. And that one is stuffed right through. You know, once Kareem establishes that inside position, dunking is really easy for him. Out to the right wing. Here's McHale, covered by Smith. And another shot. McHale, no good. The Bucks trail. Here's McLaughlin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Six on the shot clock. Hook shot on the way. Offensive rebound. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, Jabari able to read exactly where that miss was coming off and then slams it down. Beautiful timing. Outside Johnson. Pass to Bird. Here's McHale. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. At the line for the box. Kareem at 
Abdul Jabbar. Taking two shots. Two shots. That's the first. And he makes the first. And he makes both free throws. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Boston calls timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Bird. 21 points in the game. Shot clock at five. From deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. And he makes it. He's got 18. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Here's Ainge. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. As to Bird, tries it from the top of the key, and he nails the jumper. This is how automatic Bird is. All he needs is the ball, and instantly that shot is gone. Here's Robertson, and there's the rejection. And here we go, the Celtics on the run. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Oh, unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. The Bucks making a switch here. Allen's checked in. What's up? Robertson. 18 points for him. Fader on the way. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. When it goes in, it looks pretty. When it doesn't, you question the shot difficulty. Bird throwing it down. He doesn't do that a lot. He showed you right there. He can do it when he needs to. And the Bucks with the possession here. Pass to Allen. Right wing. Here's Abdul Jabbar. To halt the run. Count it. The Celtics with the lead. Up top, Johnson. Allen defending. Here's Bird. And that one hits the back iron. Allen on the wing. Covered by Johnson. Oh, swiped away. Here's Ainge. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Just to McHale. Up and over Smith. Shots good by McHale. And the Celtics lead by four. Milwaukee with the ball. Here's Robertson. Now here's Smith. Chalk up two there. I thought he might get caught between the pass and the shot, but he makes a great adjustment. Here's Ainge. The jump hook. Smith with the rebound. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Pass to Robertson. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Abdul Jabbar. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Ooh, stolen by Allen. 
Here's McLaughlin. No dice from the high post. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Cunningham's checked in for Milwaukee. Dick Cunningham. Here's Robertson. The shot's good on the assist by Cunningham. Give him 20. And you know, for the big old tonight, doesn't really matter. Inside, outside, well defended or not, he's going at will. Here's an eight-footer. And that one's good. Parrish. The defense lets him off the hook and gives up two points because of it. Here's Robertson. 20 points for him with the fadeaway. And too long on the shot. Here's Ainge. Pass to Bird over Cunningham. Here's McHale. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Great job by McHale creating contact by being physical himself. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. Working the ball inside Shoot and two. doing whatever it takes to get it to go. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. And he knocks down the first one. Perfect from the line this time. The Bucks trail. Pass to Robertson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, I like the opportunistic attitude right there, as well as the aggressive finish inside. Here's Seasting. Still getting warmed up offensively. No bucket yet in the game from him. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. And it's Bird missing. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Pass to Allen. Here's Robertson. An easy two on the layup. He's got 24. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. Here's Walton. He's watched by Cunningham. Here's Redman. Pass to Walton. With the seven-footer. Bird, that's good. Bird able to power through that defense despite the contact. I thought his length helped him out there. To the left wing. Here's Robertson. 24 points for him. It's rebounded by McHale. And the Celtics in possession here. Two point game. Out to the right wing. Pass to Bird. Launches a three. Connects from downtown. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Here's Robertson. The fadeaway. Yep, that one's good. And the Celtics in possession here. Here's Seasting. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Bird. Here's Wedman. And there's the screen. Takes one from 10 feet. No luck on that one. Cunningham with some nice D. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Second team foul. First one falls. Both teams deciding to change it up. So he gets them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. The Celtics with the lead. Tipped away. Pass to Vincent. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter, and it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. One fifty-one left in the third. Clock at two. Second chance effort. And rejected. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. Here's Seasting. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. A nice shot by Dandridge. And the Bucks lead by one. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Here's Vincent. Pass to Wedman. Five to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. 4-3. The shot no good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. 59 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Now Allen. To the middle. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Now it's a three-point Bucks lead. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Bird. Given 30. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. Here's Dandridge. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. Here's Seasting. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Cunningham, right side. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Here's Robertson. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And we've reached the end of the third. The Bucks on top, up by five. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Pass to Dandridge. Smith outside. Here's Dandridge. Cunningham finds Allen. 19-footer. 
Here's Abdul Jabbar. Nice work on the boards, paying off for the basket. And the Bucks lead by seven. Boy, you got to bring more energy than this. Abdul Jabbar isn't easily going to be thrown off by a little contact. Abdul Jabbar is not going to be thrown off much by a little contact. And for the Celtics. And it's Bird missing. Now here's Allen. Tight defense on him. To the paint. From the right block, Abdul Jabbar's shot is good. And now a nine point Milwaukee lead. He's their go to. They keep calling his number and he delivers. That's to Bird. Here's Ainge. To the wing on the left. Here's Parrish. Abdul Jabbar with a rebound. You wonder if they could push this lead to double digits. Ooh, but the way they're playing, there's no reason to think they can. Cunningham passes to Allen. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Johnson with it. Here's Walton. He's watched by Cunningham. Fades. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Authority on display. Parrish beat everybody to the loose ball and then punched it down hard. Pass to Dandridge. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Count it. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Johnson. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Parrish. Rebounded by the Bucks. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Tries it from 16. Cunningham on the wing. Pass to Allen. Here's Dandridge. Smith outside. For three, Allen. Parrish with a rebound. Boston trailing. To the inside, Ainge. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Ainge beats you all around the floor. He's a three-level scorer for sure. Allen attacking. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Unloads from 13. Doesn't go for him. And Boston going the other way now. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Bird, covered by Smith. From the line, good as the jump shot falls. Now just a five-point Bucks lead. Yeah, you know, when he's not beating you from the three or attacking the basket, Bird, very reliable from the mid-range. Pass to Dandridge. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And he knocks down the 10-footer. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Here's Ainge. Here's Bird, covered by Smith. They set the screen. Fires high post. And the Celtics tack on two more. Bird can get you points in just about any situation. Scores at all three levels, and he's determined as a scorer. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Smith outside. Allen against Johnson. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Harris with a rebound. Here's Ainge. Down low. It's stolen. Going inside. To the left side wing. Pass to Allen. Back to Smith. Abdul Jabbar's shot is good. And the Bucks lead by seven. Boston on offense. It's Johnson with a drive. Here's Parrish. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. You know, the size of Paris is hard to go up against, especially when he's trying to score. That guy is north of seven feet tall. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Milwaukee? I've noticed how they've spent a lot of this game getting aggressive down low, muscling their Take way to shots in the low post area. Two shots. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. The first free throw is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Shots good from the strike. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Dandridge. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Here's the hook. Yep, that one goes. They allowed him to establish deep position. You just can't do that. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. Here's Bird. To the wing, right side. Here's Parrish. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's McLaughlin. And he recovers it. Pass to Dandridge. Here's McLaughlin. Now Allen, just four to shoot. Second shot opportunity. Yes! He nails it! And the Bucks lead by nine. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Here's McHale. Oh, hits the outside fadeaway. 23 points in the game. McHale can put up points in a hurry, folks. So efficient in how he scores. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Another shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Outside Johnson. Here's McHale. And the lamp is good off the glass. You can rely on Johnson for superb passing. He knows how to create for his teammates. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bucks said to the team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Thank you for that, Allie. Here's Bird. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Good job shooting off the dribble that time by Bird. He loves to get those shots in rhythm. Allen with it. Pass to Dandridge. And here's Allen. To the paint. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team five. At the line for the Bucks. Kareem Abdul. Jamal at the line for two. And that one misses. He sinks the second. Boston trailing. Here's Ainge. Pass to Bird. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. At the line for the Celtics. 
Larry Bird, one shot. One shot. So part of what makes Bird exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. Here's Robertson. Pass to Dandridge. Here's Robertson. Clock at six. With some arc. And it's Bird with a rebound. Boston on offense. Here's Ains. Out to the wing. Here's Bird. Abdul Jabbar with a rebound. Pass to Robertson. Inside. Abdul Jabbar misses. Here's Ains to the inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. 27 points for him. Mikhail handling his business. Never looking pressured or hurry, unfazed. Here's Dandridge. In transition, here they come. Here's Ainge. Pass to Bird. Here's Mikhail, covered by Smith. Five on the clock. Here's Bird. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Oh, that was a nice pump fake move by Bird that time, putting the defender off balance and then drawing the foul. Taking three shots. Three shots. Three shots. it up and his next one could give him the lead and now they lead as the free throw drops in for him He nails the third. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. They're having very little success right now. And they really could take a different approach, right? Find something that works. Here's Abdul Jabbar. That one falls. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Here's Seasting. Pass to Bird. Here's Seasting. Fires for three. Offensive board. McHale. And that one good. Physical contact. No problem. McHale says bring it on. He'll just power through. Johnson. He's checked in for Boston.
plays can be real backbreakers in a close game. The Bucks trail. A moment here for an injury report. I had a moment to catch up with Boston's athletic trainer. He called the injury a lower back bruise and said it's very stiff at the moment. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Here's Bird. Ooh, stolen by Smith. One nineteen left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Robertson. Target at the rim. Ooh, he really came close to leveling the score there. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for him. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. throws good and that makes it a three-point lead hey the respect Johnson's teammates have for him is obvious they trust his decision making and follow his lead and so he drops them both and it's a four-point ball game and that makes it a two possession game now those could turn out to be vital free throws and the Bucks call time here they're trailing by four 51 seconds left in the final quarter Seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Yes! And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Cuts off the pass. And the game isn't over yet. But they have to move quickly. They've got to go all out trying to force a turnover here. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Robertson. Oh, he missed it! And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. He gets the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both. And it's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. Timeout called. Milwaukee. We're trailing by four. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what's your take? And they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass to not waste too much time at all. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Shooting for Boston. Danny Ainge taking two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. Boy, you got to love the raw tenacity Danny Ainge brings to this game. I mean, this guy works so hard to make an impact, and just refuses to let other players push him around. He's a great competitor. Laces one from three. And Boston calls time here. They lead by three. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. 
So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. And so it's Boston with the W. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. But as we go, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game.